Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a strange medieval weapon. This is a gun shield. And this, this is, when I say medieval, I don't really mean that medieval because it's, this is a 17th century kind of thing, and it really existed, and I've got a picture of one that I, I, I took a picture of one that I found at a museum, and I will show you that picture, I'll show you it, but what it is, it's a shield, and it's a gun that shoots. And here, if you take a look, I show you how to make it. And the, the, the wonderful thing about this is that it's, you know, it has to be a one-handed firing. You can't use two hands on it. So we make this little um, gun here that you can fire, and I'll show you. It really fires. <laughs> Shit. So you can use it with just one hand to fire it. All you do is pull it back and fire it. Oh, and um, and all you need for that is a piece of PVC pipe, half inch, a half inch dowel, a rubber band, and some tape. So this is the medieval gun shield. Fun little project. Two sheets of foam board. I show you how to make it. And it really did exist, although it is quite the quirky weapon. Thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If not, what do you do? Hit that button. All right, let's take a look. Here is that gun shield that I found in a museum. And uh, see, this really did exist, it's, and it's quite, quite a um, quirky weapon. So let's get to making our own. Grab yourself a sheet of foam board, and you can use cardboard for this. You don't have to use foam board. And but let's go with the foam board. This is 20 by 30 inches, five millimeters thick. Draw an X diagonally from corner to corner, and then cut an inch strip off one end, and then break that strip in half because now we're going to use that as a compass to draw a circle of our shield the easy way. Pierce it with a pencil like that and then use a pin or a nail put it right on your X and see now what you can do is you now you can draw a circle just easy as that and it's just about 20 inches which is the size of our um, foam board. So the easy way for you to make a nice big circle like that, that comes out really even and clean, and then cut it out. So now that is our shield. Let's make the ornaments to go on it. Take a second sheet of foam board, place your shield on it, and trace it. And then use your homemade compass tool to draw another circle within that one about an inch and a half thick. So it's an inch and a half, it's actually three inches shorter than the original. An inch and a half all the way around, if you get my, what I mean. And then cut that disc, then cut that out, that hula hoop, I guess you could say. And we've got ourselves a nice ornament to mount to our shield. And I won't show you how to do the rest of these pieces, they're pretty easy, but I'll show you how uh, gluing them on. And, you know, have fun with this. You can make the shield any design you want. I just kind of loosely followed the original gun shield. So, there we go, there's our ring, it's a perfect fit. Glue it on, and then glue on the ornaments. And do you know what that centerpiece is called? That is a boss. And I made four pieces to go around the boss, and they are an inch and a half thick also. Easy enough. So now we need a handle on the back of the shield. And I just cut, some, I just cut this quickly out of one of our scraps of foam board, and you fold it like this. I'll show you, real easy. And notice how long that handle is. You need it longer than you think you need it. Uh, you'll see why in a second, because you're going to do this. And then fit it on there like that, so glue it on. That way you've got plenty of room to, to fit your hand under it. And if you want it extra strong, uh, double it up. And I'll glue together two pieces of foam board handle and then glue those on. And I have lots of other shield tutorials if you'd like to watch those. 
Uh, we make shields all different types of ways. Viking shield, the Roman scud scudum, an elven shield. So now let's make the little repeating weapon, the, f the gun. And I'm using half inch PVC pipe that's polyvinyl chloride. You can buy it at a home improvement store, like a three inch three foot piece for like, I don't know, two to dollar thirty or something like that. Yeah. Cut yourself two pieces from it. One piece is fourteen inches and one piece is four inches. And you have a lot of leeway in that. I that's just the size that I wanted my little gun to be. Now, but this is important. Make sure everything's nice and clean because you don't want your ammunition to get stuck in it when it's loading. And this is um, like a repeatable weapon and, and I, I made it so that you can use it one hand because you need one hand to hold down to the shield. So you, you, you want to operate the weapon with one hand. Now in the center of the 14 inch piece, drill yourself a hole. And, um, and if you don't have a drill, you could use a hacksaw blade or something. And my hole is, uh, let me see, it's um, 9 sixteenths wide. You could go five eighths, and make sure it's nice and clean. You don't want any burrs or anything to get for your ammunition to get stuck on. See that, and then glue the small piece to it. And you want your ammunition, in my case, I use gumballs to flow down the short tube and into the the longer tube, well, just like that. We we'll put them in there, and they'll fall in. So if there's any little problems in there, they'll get stuck. And you may have to experiment with um, different things. I tried jelly beans. Jelly beans worked. Um, I tried marshmallows. They tended to get, uh, mini marshmallows, they tended to get stuck. So tinker around. You could even make little wads of paper. But so glue that on and then tape it on nice and tight. You don't want it to move or to shift or else the ammunition is going to get stuck. So now let's make the little plunger. The, I guess you could call it the firing pin. This is one half inch dowel. I got that at the home improvement store also. It cost me like a dollar. One half inch dowel. And the important thing is, well cut it 10 inches. The important thing is that it f slides smoothly into your PVC pipe. So clean it up. Now we're going to, um, you know, finish it. And I cut a half inch piece of PVC pipe like that. That's our stop. And take your rubber band and put it over the end of your wooden dowel and then glue on that little half inch piece of PVC. So it's a stop. And I ended up putting a screw in it too to hold it tight because it came undone after a bunch of firings, uh, just the, the force of it hitting. But that's what you end up with. See the rubber band, the stop, that's as simple as that. It's not a big deal. So now mark your thing like this. Mark your firing pin like that, so you know how far back to draw it. Ex extend the rubber band over that, over the, the vertical piece. Now, we don't want any pressure on that vertical piece. The rubber band can actually pull it apart or shift it or dislodge it. So, tape it down to the horizontal piece like this. I hope these instructions aren't too complicated. It's really quite an easy thing. But now when you tape it down like this nice and tight with a piece of tape it takes the pressure off of that vertical piece so you're not pulling on it every time you pull back the firing pin you see that's the whole point now you can pull it back as far as that line and what happens is your gumball or your ammunition falls down the tube into the horizontal tube and then when you release it it fires really that simple watch click and it fires. Click and it fires. So you can put a bunch of your ammunition in that horizontal, in the vertical tube and then just keep firing like I did in the beginning of this video. So the only thing remaining with the assembly is to cut a hole and mount that tube, mount that um, little gun in your shield. And I added some piece of foam board to make it stronger. We want a little bit of strength to it. Because there is some force there when you're snapping on that rubber band. It's like poof, poof. And so we want to strengthen it up. This is a little piece I made for the front. And I also made a little piece for the back.
And that's it. Let's put the gun in there. And you want to put it so in a way so that when you're holding the shield, that vertical pipe is actually vertical. It's pointing towards the zenith. It's pointing up towards the sky. Or else your ammunition will fall out. Let's see. So slide it all the way in like that. And then uh, put some glue on it or something or tape it or something to hold it in place tight. But there you go. Just like that. That's it. The, the, sh the gun shield is completed. You are ready to both be defensive and offensive at the same time. Kind of quirky. So I used a hot glue gun to um, just hold it in place nice and tight and secure it in. And I, all right, so the only thing remaining here is to paint it. And I'm going to show you a technique. If you follow my channel, you know this technique. This is the dry brushing technique, but it looks good. It looks sort of like antique metal. And what you do is you start out by co by covering the whole thing with a with a um, a coat of black paint. And as funny as it sounds, be messy with it. Um, you don't want this to be a nice, pretty, even coat. You want lots of brush strokes. You want those brush strokes to show up. Because in the next step, it makes a difference. It'll make it look better. So the next step is the actual dry brushing. You take some silver paint, get it on your brush, and then dab most of it off. And then lightly go over your shield like this. You only want a little bit of silver paint to actually apply to the shield. And what happens is all those uneven black blush strokes that you made, they pick up the paint and all the little sections inside don't. So it takes a while, you got to do a lot of this, but just keep at it, keep dry brushing it, dry brushing it, and dry brushing it, and, and you'll be good. You'll get the hang of it real quick. But see, it gives it a wonderful look. So paint it any way you want, but that's how to dry brush it, like a silvered antique kind of look, and you're all set. So that's that. That's how to make the medieval gun shield. Look at that. See how good it looks comes out good and I only used black in the back I, I didn't think it was necessary to dry brush it if you make this project make sure you send me a picture I will send you a certificate of contribution and I will put the picture on my website you now have a weapon that is unlike just about any other weapon at all so let me show you one more time how to use it what you do is you load the ammunition in the top like that and in my case, I used gumballs because they fit perfectly and they work perfectly. I'm going to use that five or six. And you're going to actually hear these things slap around. You pull it back and it loads the gumball and then you fire it. And if you pull it back too far, you run the risk of two loading or more or more from coming out. So that's why you have that line to it and you can hear it click. Well, because it's a, the gumball, it clicks when it falls down into the tube. Uh, lots more <laughs> projects on our website at stormthecastle.com. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I very much appreciate it.